Hey, it's Joe Santos from Pop Bat Culture on New Radio Media, and we are happy to be here at Imagine Theater in Royal Oak for the Russian Five premiere. It's going to tell us the story of the Russian Five, you know, Fatisov, Konstantinov, Slava Kozlov. You going to help me, Andrew? And, uh, hmm? It's better off. The, the funny thing about the story is that it does transcend generations. The reason I threw it to Andrew is he was basically a baby when the Russian Five was still skating for the wings. And we're going to be able to watch the story today here at Imagine, along with some dignitaries like Dave Coulier, Vladimir Konstantinov is here, Darren McCarty is here. So stick with us here on New Radio Media because we are going to bring you exclusive coverage from Imagine Royal Oak. Hi, Jenny. Congratulations on the film. Thank you so much. So it's been 22 years in the making. Uh, can you tell us about how you got here? I mean, it's it's finally going to happen tonight, isn't it? Not 22, 22 years since the accident. Um, so seven years for our director. It's been in the making. I've personally been involved for three and a half years into this film. And how we got here is blood, sweat and tears and <laughs> a lot of work, perseverance um, and just going after finishing this, this legacy project. Now you had a big role in this film and I know a lot of hard work and blood, sweat and tears came through. You look like a very proud man. Can you kind of give us a little peek as to what to expect from this movie? Well, this film is, about, is uh, not only about hockey, but also about uh, human beings. A uh, bunch of uh, Russian immigrants that uh, came to Detroit and helped the team along the way to win the Stanley Cup. And so I'm very proud to be part of it. Well, I mean, I've always known it's been an incredible story because I lived through it and I knew, always knew it was inspiring because I was inspired by it. And so it was in the back of my head as I was going through film school. Um, and I was actually producing a documentary uh, for Al Reinert. Uh, and we were driving through East Texas one day and Al asked me, what's the story you want to tell as a director? You know, you don't want to produce my films forever. So I told him the story of the Russian Five and his eyes got real big and he said, you have to go make this film. And he threatened to stop hiring me <laughs> if I didn't, just the motivation to, to get going. So, you know, I mean, that was almost seven years ago and it just started with writing handwritten letters to everyone involved in the story. Wow. You know, that started a process of slowly over the years getting buy-in from various people and then getting the money. And that's where Jenny and Dan Milstein came on board and then production and then post-production. And so it's just been a long, uh, incredible, a tiring, but uh, ultimately rewarding journey. With the Russian Five film, there is a real element of kind of international intrigue and quasi-espionage. My understanding is that you were the man that uh, got them out of Russia. Well, no, I wouldn't go that far. I, you know, I, I was simply a, a guy who worked for the Red Wings. I was an assistant coach, goalie coach at the time. And uh, I had some Russian friends and, and uh, people that I knew. And, and uh, I was, uh, Vladislav Trecek was a good friend of mine. And through him, uh, I met some other people. And all I did was share, some, uh, share the, the contact numbers of these people. And they said, you know, if it, if it could help. And I think that, it, you know, in some way it did help uh, from what I'm told. And, uh, you know, the, I think a lot of the credit goes to the, to the people who recruited and scouted these people, those players, because they were all elite players. Have you seen the entire thing straight through yet? Three times. Really? Yeah. Okay. Love it. Uh, I can't get enough. And, and it's it's one of those things that I you have to see in the movie with a crowd because to get that emotion and bring it back. But also, too, is that I, so by the third time I look around and watch people because it's the emotion and they captured it. And it's such a fantastic job from my perspective of capturing the love and the feeling and, and that, you know, the highs and the lows, but we stuck it together and we love each other. I learned something, you know, in it. Everybody's gonna learn a little something and, and the way that it's put together, you just can't, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna laugh and you're gonna cry. Yeah. And have you seen the film yet? I've not seen the film, I'm looking forward to it. I saw little clips that, um, Little Caesars Arena. Uh, I saw some um, footage of uh, Jimmy Devolano uh, way back when. You know, it took him a while, but eventually they had the Stanley Cup, uh, you know, the Stanley Cup teams. And have you seen the Russian Five yet? I have not, so I'm very excited. Cinema has such a power uh, to transform us, to transport us that, um, you know, when I was going through all that time, my back surgeries, I watched three movies a day for almost six years. So, you know, hopefully people sort of see the, the richness of the history of cinema that I've absorbed. 
coming through in the film. Well, we're really looking forward to the film again. Congratulations. Uh, I'm looking forward to just living the story. And uh, we're very, very happy for you here. Thanks for joining us, Joshua. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And I hope, you know, everyone in that sees the movie enjoys it.